An immense amount of work goes into making a bespoke suit, much of it by hand, but a lot of it is hidden inside a suit and so as a bespoke customer it's hard to appreciate it. In this series of three videos with a tailor, Jedi Adamson, we're going to look at how three aspects of the suit are put together, beginning today with the way a humble pocket is made. Okay, thanks Jenny for talking us through this. And what are you doing here in the first stage? Here I'm just laying out all the pieces that I've prepared for the making of the pocket. So I've got the pocket bags, the jets that I've pre-cut and the flap that I've already machined. I'm now basting around the very edges of the flap to hold the lining in place. So what I want is for the lining not to be visible from the outside of the flap. And this basting stitch just holds everything. So that basting stitch must be removed later on. Exactly. So yeah, I'm pressing it. I'm using the tailor's ham to press it just on a, on a very slight curve because I'm just going to moulding it to the three-dimensional shape of the jacket. Okay, so the tailor's ham is that kind of cushion shape and you're giving it a bit of curve so it follows the, the curve of the jacket and the body. It's very subtle. But... Now you're marking the top of the flap? Yep, just so I've got a guideline for where I know I want the flap to finish and then just basting here to hold all the layers together. And then that's the body of the jacket that you're going to lay the flap on top of? Yeah, that's the, the full part. So I'm just getting the flap in place so I can double check my measurements and just make sure that everything is exact. And I'm just going to cut away the canvas for where I'm going to mm. machine the jet. So that lighter grey section is the canvas that normally sits inside the jacket to kind of give it shape and body, right? Mm -hmm. And you're cutting it away because you don't want that extra layer of sort of stiffness behind the pocket? Yeah, exactly. I don't want to catch that with the machine. Um, we're adding quite a lot of layers here, so we don't want to create any unnecessary bulk. And now you're basting the flap onto the body? Basting the, the jets. Oh, yeah, the jets, okay. So the jets being the thin lines that actually run around the opening of the pocket yep. so that strip of material kind of will be folded back on itself to make that thin strip so this is a it's a double jet flat pocket so a jet above and below the opening of the pocket now i'm just machining along where i just basted the jets to join all the layers together So after machining the jets, I'm just going to cut open the pocket, mitering right up to the corners. And then I'm pushing the jets through. And I'm going to press these seams open to get a really crisp finish. Okay, so that piece of material that's coming through, that was the jet itself, and that's being pressed open. And I'm tucking it back in on itself, and this is what's going to create the jets. So I'm hand sewing the jets to hold them in the, the finished place, using a really thin cotton thread because this is an invisible stitch. That's nice. You can you can see how it's almost hidden there, just in the right into in the, the seam. seam. Yeah. So this is the inside of the pocket now, and I'm just adding the, the back of the pocket bag, which has the ticket pocket in on this side. Ah, uh, okay, so that little extra bit is the ticket pocket that sits inside. Yeah, inside. For change or that kind of thing, I guess, to reinforce yeah. it. And from the outside now, I'm basting through the jet, and that's holding all of my layers together, inserting the flap. I'm just using that guideline that I gave myself earlier, so I know exactly where I want the flap to finish.
machining around the pocket bag to secure the layers and then trimming away the excess. There's quite a few layers so I'm trimming them all back at slightly different lengths so as to mm. create a, a gradual finish. Okay, at the edges so it sits more smoothly on the body I guess. I'm attaching the pocket bag to the canvas by hand, being really careful not to go through and catch the cloth on the outside of the jacket. And I guess that gives the pocket a lot of strength, right? That you're basing onto the canvas behind. Yep. And this is the, I'm doing the detach by hand this, with the silk thread, which is a really strong thread, um, just to give extra strength to the corners of the pockets, which is the weakest point of the pocket. Yeah, I love that little detail you see on the very edges of the pocket opening that little d-stitch. Yeah, it's quite subtle, but yeah, if you look closely. And these pockets are meant to be used, right? Exactly, yeah. People don't want to put, you know, put absolutely everything in there, but they're still very strong, so you can use them for things because of the way they're made. Yeah, made to be used. Yeah. That's fantastic. I mean, how long does it take you to make all the pockets on the outside of a jacket like that normally? Normally, I'd say a couple of hours to make all of the pockets. Compared to a factory where it's a pocket making machine that basically bashes all that out. Probably in a few minutes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Jenny. That was great. I really understand a lot more about how a bespoke pocket is made now and appreciate it. You're very welcome.